In this lesson, we are going to learn auto fit option in Excel. For example, you can see a small database here, list of books name and its authors here, right? In this book name column, you must be noticed that cell number A3 and A4, the name has shortened, right? Are you able to see the entire name within that cell? No, right? First, let's understand that Excel still has the entire name of these two books. How do we know that? Let's try to click on cell A3 like this and look at this area here. And this area is called the formula bar. And here, and you can see that the entire name of the book in cell A3, right? And similar way, if I click on A4, the related name has been completely appeared here, right? It just not displayed to us on the screen here, but the entire content is still contained in cell A3 and A4, okay? Hence, now we confirm that the data is still there, but we would like to be displayed on the screen. In order to fix this problem, we need to understand that rows and columns has their own properties. For example, this column has the property called width. By default, each column width is 8.09 units. For example, I just select this column and just click on right button from the mouse. You can see column width option, right? As soon as I click on it, you can see a small window called column width, which is showing 8.09 units at by default, right? But in this case, column A, let me check the width of the same. Select completely, right click, column width, it's showing 19.8. Here, what was my criteria? I just want to make it visible both these two books in the cell A3 and A4. For that, here itself, we can change the width of the column by amending this column width unit. For example, instead of 19.18, let me try to put 35 here. See, now it's visible for both cell content, right? So with Excel, almost everything can be easily modified. And adjusting column width can be done many ways apart from this. So as I already show you the first method, let's move to the next method. Make it undo here. And another method is to take your mouse closer to the line between column A and B like this. And the press the left button on your mouse and drag it like this. See, it's visible now, right? You can adjust the same wherever you want. Okay, and make it undo here. Now let's talk about the another method of adjusting the column width, which might be more convenient in many scenarios. You would just take your mouse cursor again to the same spot like this. After that, just double click on it by using the mouse. See, I just double click on it. As soon as I double click on it, now Excel has auto fitted this column width to all the content within this column. Means all the cells here now will be fully visible to you in this column. See, right? So this is a much more convenient and faster way of doing it. Just like the column width, rows also have the properties. For example, I'm just trying to drag like this and this also I'm dragging. I just want to adjust this width. Similar way how it works in column width, I'm just going to select a blank row here and right click and you can see row height, right? As soon as I click on it, but default row height Excel is showing 18.5 here. But in this case, let me check here. I just click on it, right click here and row height, it's showing 33. So let me try to reduce as by putting 18.5 and rate. See, it has been adjusted. And here also we can do the same thing. Right click here, row height and 18.5 and rate. See, it has been adjusted. Let me put undo. And even we can drag like this, how it works in column width option, see. And as I mentioned earlier, best method is just select completely and just move the cursor here, just double click, see. It automatically it has been adjusted. So hope you clear this topic. Let's move to the next session.